Okay, I just have to talk about the 2020 presidential candidate. This is the most laughable bunch of social misfits I have ever seen in my entire lifetime. First, says Elizabeth Warren, a lady who told a lie a million times and now no one wants to talk to her because of that. Shouldn't have lied on your college test, you bastard. Then we have Joe Biden, a guy who likes to touch women down there. We also have Cory Booker, a man with way too much personality. There's also Tom Steyer, a man with way too little personality. Then there's Tulsi Gabbard, which I... Wait a second, is she a lion? We also have Pete Gr but Greg, who drove South Bend into the dumper. This stupid airtight bobblehead is so obsessed with identity politics. Then you realize how many po people she put in jail. That goes away real quickly. We have Bernie Bros back again. Saying that we should allow criminals to have a vote. Ah, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Just as dumb and clumsy as you were back in 016. Then there's Beto O'Rourke. A guy who I know won't get the electorate. Because he's reaching for Instagram voters. People who are too young to vote in the first place. And you honestly think you're better than Trump? Fuck off. Speaking of bullshit, there is way too much of it this year. Including Alexandria Oscario Cortez, who said we had 12 years to sign on to a loose document saying that we need to give up all of our rights, like the ISOM document. Thinly disguised as a green energy bill. A group that literally called itself the Squad. Like it was some sort of 1960s cop show. Then there was Greta Thunderberg who just had her period. Greta God of Thunderberg said we only had eight years to sign on to socialism until we all die. But guys, before you get all wrapped up in this, remember, she has a yacht. Gas-powered yacht, that is. It's not just the left. Donald Trump was at his usual craziness. At one point saying he'd like to buy Greenland, which actually isn't that bad of an idea when you think about it. Because Greenland has a high suicide rate, and maybe America can do something about that. Denmark, fuck you. <sighs> For the fourth year in a row, the cursed Kaepernick kneeled like a fucking un American. This time he criticized Betsy Ross shoes because apparently they're racist. Yeah, well, Obama's inauguration had Betsy Ross flags. You could have criticized the fact. That they were made in China. Well, he was finally dropped from the team after that stupid ass stunt. But he was reinstated somewhere else. And there was also the leader of the female soccer team. Who was it? Just a complete and utter cunt. She is just unbearable. Fucking un American trap with colored hair. What do you have to say? What do you deserve? No, you stupid twat. You deserve nothing! And we found out conservatives can be whiny too. They were complaining about the burning of the American flag, which I agree is disrespectful, but it's their right to express themselves how they want. You can't just deport them because of that. Kanye West also became a Christian this year. <laughs> so fucking funny. And I know this year was better because YouTube finally gave in. They finally allowed us to be honest people and let's make the content that we want without being demonetized. And all it bloody took was government interference, a hundred million dollar fine, and God knows what else. They pretty much had to do it because everyone would have left otherwise. This isn't over, YouTube. I know what you're doing. I know that you're too lazy to even make a rewind this year. Because you fucked too many people off. In the United Kingdom, there was another snap bang election. Boris ringing over all, and the labor rights going completely nuts. Speaking of which, if you like good British commentary, check out Jonathan Pye. Oh, and by the way, now there's two blonde haired douchebags in UK and US. Boris, funny man, is only good for jokes. He is a nice comedian, but. Not a good Prime Minister. He basically took off everyone who's against his Brexit deal, including the father of the house. What the fuck? 
having a few more Uga Boogers in your cabinet won't hide the fact that you're an either drained, bonafide douchebag with a nice fat suit. Well, Avengers Endgame happened and the IQ of the America set to number 5 bits and we got treated to our last serving of shit from Star Wars. It's that fucking baby Yoda. The Antichrist himself, Bob Iger, introduced us to Disney+. Plus. <laughs> More like Disney minus. Get it? They also picked up a lot of TCF films because they can, because they're rich. But of course, these assholes are too pussy to put Song of the South on Disney divided by. Look, I'm a reasonable man. All I want to do is see a tar baby on Disney Times. Come on, Disney Square Root of. You, you can do it. it! I've seen the crows and Dumbo. Bottom line, these do not give money to Disney to the 10th power. Let us turn now to see the Asian news. With our nice guy, British Chinese impersonation. Oh, thank you, Honorable Chef. Oh, this year, our Honorable Kong Kongians chimped out this year. For many, many years, Chinese government used Hong Kong as ashtray. But they did not take it no more. So they rebel, smashing up university. My friend, it is also still going great. They have even succeeded in some of the things they are trying to achieve. Not all of them, but uh, some. Thank you, Chink. Are you welcome, sir? Oh, and let's not forget, Mr. Jeffrey Epstein was found guilty of raping little children on planes and islands and all sorts of bullshit. Pretty much clarifies all we know about rich douchebags, you know what's that? He was going to testify about all the people he knew that would probably be rapist. But someone got to him first. And as for Trump? People finally realized, you know, this guy's funny, but he's not really good of a president. So he was finally impeached. I mean, well, not really. It has to go through the Senate first, and he can kind of make the thing, make some decisions too, but who knows. Also, Akihito, Japanese Empire, resigned. Hey, kids, were you rejected by a university? Just know that you were probably rejected because some famous douchebag actor wanted their son to be coming to the university, so they fans the reviews. And just as Paris couldn't sink farther into its degenerate shithole, Notre Dame burned to the ground. God, please put up pagan wards to keep modern architects away from Notre Dame. Oh, and uh, Harry and Meghan Markle uh, had the baby, I guess. And they went on and on about the environment. There was also turmoil and fights to be had. In New Zealand, a mosque was shot up. And the Sri Lanka church was shot up. Which proves that fucked up extremism goes both ways. I'm also forgetting that point where Bella Delphine so it's a goddamn bath water. Finally, you can do it, I can do it. I'm selling my kidney stones. Please remember to remove this part. Please remember to remove. Also, the US government finally gave a slap on the wrist to Facebook, telling them so them to pay $5 billion. Same year they introduced Portal, but the only good thing about it was the Muppets commercials. That's it. And I, John Please, was quoted as saying that London was no longer an English city. It's not. It really isn't. I think the Earth has become an, an attic smoker because the Earth's lungs, Brazilian rainforest of Amazon, are currently being destroyed by fire. I'm just saying, people. 20% of the air we breathe comes from the Amazon. We also had an oil woman spacewalk. Don't really care. And finally this year, southern states finally said, No! No, you cannot kill your baby anymore. It's living! What the fuck is wrong with you? Trump also tried to push the citizenship question, which was blocked. He said in a skeletal-like manner, I was great and unmatched wisdom, was going to leave his allies to die. He also played the media like a fiddle with this number. You know, the most interesting thing about the boring Russian investigation bullshit is seeing all those senators and uh, judging how ugly they look. L look at, look at Sonland. Look at he's got a fucking BB gun bullet in his chin. This lady looks like she got her jewelry from Helvet Packard. This year, the Puerto Rican governor also resigned, mainly over the fact that he made fun of her game survivors. Where were you, AOC? <laughs> there were also no acts like Billy Eilish. 
You know, she's kind of weird, but at least she's breaking pop star stereotypes. There's Old Town Road, which I actually like, but I think it's too popular. As for this channel, we got better than ever. But that's not saying a lot. Also, Julia Sands, co-founder of WikiLeaks, was also arrested this year. Election Day also became a federal holiday. <laughs> As you can see, the Extinction Rebellion is this extremist group who always takes themselves down and makes themselves look like crazy greenies. Something that people don't want to be associated with. If you keep this up, maybe we will die in 8 years. See me from the fact that people are so fucking done with you to the launch Sinox so they don't have to hear another word from you. Super Bowl 2019 came and went and pissed everyone off because they wanted to hear Sweet Victory. The only reason I wasn't disappointed is because I like the ads. I usually come for the ads. Now that Hillenburg is dead, Tom Kenny can be shoved into every nook and cranny of now this and BuzzFeed to be used for his fucking voice till he dies. So the least you can do is honor his memory by playing that song. Hey guys! Are you excited to see the brand new country here fans of us? It's in the form of Bougainville from Papua New Guinea. Say hello Bougainville. South Sudan, get out. So Bougainville, how does it feel to be the latest country? You have a lot to learn. You have wars, you've got terror, you've got feminism, you've got a lot of things to fuck up. I mean, we're all pros us in the US. 250 years, you would see a lot of grey hair. Pleasing, the world's most unfunny girl in the world, was criticized because of one joke about Indian turbans. Indian turbans. All she did was talk about white people in red scam. She makes one joke about Indians and you go fucking nuts. There was also a trend that Burger King pushed that made you from meat shakes on fellow politicians you don't agree with. Fred and Nigel Farage definitely deserves a milkshake on this suit, but not battery acid. Just 10 years in a cell block and barred from politics. I think this tweet right here puts it perfectly. Speaking of fast food restaurants, everyone went nuts for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I haven't tried it, so don't ask. People also raised the dizzy over the new Joker film because they thought someone was going to shoot up a theater. They really didn't want people to see it, so they realized, hey, you know what? This media is biased. Let's take it down. No, they don't want that. Also, NBA were trying to kneel so China this year because the players went out against them. Stand up for your players, you Fucking bastard! Stop trying to carry along the hammer and sickle to these buck tooth tongue clickers and do something! Yes, from another fucking iPhone to people telling us to eat insects now, it's really been a fucked year. Trump also called Elijah Cummings, New Jersey committee, no, it's Philadelphia, a rat infested area, and then they called them racist. But well, let me tell you something, Democrats. If you get rat infested out of black people, doesn't that make you racist? Boston decided to have a straight pride parade this year as a combat to identity politics. Pretty cool. And I live near Boston, but I couldn't attend because I was just not in school. Also, Mr. Rat Burns of Peter Puffer and Rachel Maddow is Batman. Fucking hell. Also, the star of Empire faked the hate crime. Oh, little baby. Oh, little baby. You want people to be sad for you, so you fake the hate crime. You beat two guys to beat you up. Oh, so bad for you. I have no sympathy for you. You are a disgrace to the black and gay race. Fuck you. Also, Pelosi may be a drunk. Speaking of uh, teenagers with periods, Soph. I actually like this show, Toba. I think it's fucking diabolical that Susan W. got rid of this. Come on, she's just saying her opinion.
Just because she's 14 doesn't mean she can speak her mind. Fuck you! Zenzis and Zhu Yang, aka towards George Decay. Oh, I forgot this bit about the AOC. Council mentioned she also faked photos where she was outside the goddamn detention center. And really, she was at the Texas shopping mall with a bunch of rich white celebrities. Go figure, huh? We also thought so PewDiePie could get more subscribers than T-Series. Also, that ship has sailed already. At least we have his support. 100 million cannot tell a lie. Also, for the last time, he is not racist. Would a racist give 200 grand to India? And just like last year, let's see who we lost this year. Danny Aiello, Peter Freight, Carol Spinney, Josh World, Robert Evans, Bob Einstein, Rip Taylor, Eddie Money, Dog the Bounty Hunter's Wife, the voice actor who played Minnie Mouse, Independent Candidate Ross Perot, Leah Iacocca, Gloria Vanderbilt, Dr. John, Tim Conway. Well, it's certainly nice to be in heaven. Doris Day, the guy who played the Wookiee in Star Wars, John Singleton, Elijah Cummings, not Alex Trevec. He survived this cancer is doing better than ever. Thank God. David Cork. One down, one to go. Bill Buckner. Luke Perry. Peter Talk of the Monkeys. Carol Channing. Chris Brown as the professional surfer, not the rapper. James Ingram.